Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Fishing AT. Um, thank you for joining me today. Um, uh, it's Wednesday the uh, 6th of December and we're fishing on a rock ledge mark between uh, Clevedon and Port Zed. Parked in Bay Road in Clevedon and I've walked uh, past Lady Bay up the coast path towards Port Zed and I've plonked myself on a, a mark that I usually fish here because it's uh, convenient. Um, and uh, it's about one kilometre from, from where I've parked on, uh, on Bay Road. We've got a, a high tide at one o'clock, it's currently half past ten, so we've got two and a half hours to high tide. It's only a nine and a half metre tide on the Bristol, uh, on the Clevedon scale, so not a big tide. Uh, low water this morning was four and a half metres. So we've still got five metres of elevation change, so 15, 16 feet but hopefully the, the tidal pull won't be as fierce as it can be on those big 12, 13 metre tides. Fishing three rods, um, I picked up some bait from Real Fun Fishing this morning, so I've got some fresh rag and blow lug. Um, I've got some frozen bluey and squid. I've got some ragworm that I kept in the fridge from last week's ch trip at Chesil, which after eight days is surprisingly okay. Um, I had to salt down the lug and, and, and freeze that, so I brought that along as well, the, the leftover lug. And I'm fishing, as uh, say, three uh, three rods. I've got a variety of rigs today, pretty much like what I was doing at uh, at, at Chesil, trying to cover a range of options. I've got a size two uh, up and over with just with plain ragworm. Um, I'm dreaming of a soul from the, <laughs> from the Bristol Channel. It might be a bit late now. Um, I've got a, a one o pulley panel with uh, rag and squid and I've got a bigger pulley panel with, um, this one's got squid, bluey, and some old ragworm in a great big bait sausage. So that's just gonna be chucked out, left out there for, uh, for an hour or so. It's pretty calm, uh, there's no wind at the moment. It's forecasted to pick up to go southeasterly this afternoon, about 10, 11 mile an hour, but it's just cold, it's about five degrees, um, but an overcast as, 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 as you can see. Just had a cracking bite on a ragworm up and over. Took the rod off the stand. Just short fish in a size one or two. Um, up a, a hook, Revis big mouth hook. on a up and over that's only about a foot long and absolutely belted over uh, got me in a snag damn. damn that's me trying to talk to the camera and get a fish in anyway let's uh, give it a bit of slack and see if we can uh, get him out ah uh, frustratingly I, I missed it. I, uh, as I say, got it, trying to fiddle with the camera. There's a few rocks, uh, obviously in front here. It just went to ground and um, I turned the camera off, uh, gave it a bit of pressure and it came and uh, just uh, a big lump of weed, uh, which wasn't the, the cause of the bite, nothing, uh, there's not a lot of stuff floating in the channel today uh, and it's very rare that I get a, a bite that takes the rod off the rest but anyway <laughs> such is life we can just cast out the same rig put it in the same spot uh, very much doubt the same fish will fall for that one but anyway at least there's something here it's giving me a bit of entertainment something to talk about I uh, just want to say a particular thanks to everyone who's been watching and liking and subscribing to the channel in the last uh, couple of months. I went past a uh, thousand subscribers last week after the latest Chesil Beach video so thank you for that and gone in excess of 110,000 views which uh, I never sort of envisaged when I set out on my uh, YouTube journey uh, last year so thank you for that really appreciate it hope you enjoy the content feel free to comment as, 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 as some of you do uh, good and bad you know, want to try and give you uh, st stuff you'd like to see. Uh, I'm no chef, so I can't do catching cooks. I can't cook Christmas dinner uh, like a certain YouTuber did recently. 
on the beach at uh, down in, uh, in Dorset, but um, just got my pot noodle today, so uh, I won't be showing that. But anyway, thanks again for uh, for watching uh, watching the channel over the last year. There's the bait. There's the fish. Tiny, tiny little whiting on the biggest bait I've chucked out. Um, anyway, the blank is beaten. He's uh, pretty lively, so I'm going to put him back. Not going to sacrifice him for a conga or something. But a uh, little nine inch whiting. Uh, that wasn't the fish that pulled my rod rest off the, the rod off the rod rest, but anyway, at least it's the start. The little gulls here, they love the ragworm. Oh, didn't like that one. Ah, flew off. <laughs> they must have their territories because they started feeding one and then another one came in and scared him off. Left these down at Chesil is a very very small conga. <clears throat> He's uh, took on a rag and squid pulley panel. Uh, so was just changing the bait. Didn't really see any sort of bite. I mean, obviously you've got quite a bit of there's quite a bit of tension on the line. You're fishing a little bit up tide because you give a bit of a bow in the in the line here to try and get it bedded in and sometimes you just don't see bites from little things like this one and also that whiting i had i didn't really see um a, a bite as such on that one anyway little wriggler uh, second fish of the day let's put him back in 
Well, it's half an hour before high water. Just the white inn and the, uh, the tiny conga. Um, baits, so this bait here, which is a like half a bluey and a squid wrap on a 5.0 dongle. Uh, that was basically out for 50 minutes. So there's no issue with crabs or micro species taking baits and stuff. Even though probably there's rocks in front of me here for 25, 30 yards. Um, I'm only chucking maybe 50 or 60. I suppose if you're brave and you could fish a rotten bottom, you could probably put it in close. I, I think might be, you might have a better chance of, of something uh, at this time of year possibly or fish at night but obviously it's it's I've got my studded boots on and it's quite a it's quite a rocky mark weedy mark certainly down here lower mark where I am on the upper ledges it's generally a little bit better easier to to, to fish um you've just got to watch for turning your ankle and stuff like that so anyway we're going to uh, plan is then a fish to uh, I should be okay here I won't have to move um going to fish probably at least three hours down to on the on the ebb to, to about four o'clock maybe and we see uh, we see how we go. <clears throat> so the the rigs are pretty much the as I explained at uh, at, at um, Chesil last week, um, just a slightly heavier lead. So got uh, 210 gram. I think that's seven ounce um, Gemini leads. Got a splash down, and then the usual 80 pound ASO rig rig body, a bead, pulley bead, swivel. This is 60 pound Amnesia trace which is uh, probably about four foot. And this one's just on a dongle, um, just trying. Uh, I bought some uh, Veals Mail Order, sell some dongle braid, so short lengths of it, so you don't have to buy a big spool, 250 pound braid. So you can get a, it's, it's quite a good thickness on it. You can get a good loop on it. So uh, I'm just trying that out today. Uh, Although I don't think we'll trouble the scorers with uh, anything uh, sizable. And then the other rigs. Basically is just an up and over and this is a very, very short up and over. So the actual tra trace length is only uh, 18 inches. So really, and I've got a quite a small size two big mouth. So that's what I had that great big bite on at the start of the day. So. Uh, it's probably not surprising he didn't hook maybe because obviously such a small hook but really I was trying for maybe something a little bit different yeah if there's any sort of flat fish at all I remember when we used to fish out of Clevedon this is maybe uh, 25 years ago um, in the boats we'd get good dabs um, and I know there's obviously sole in the channel so but uh, anyway that's why I'm persisting with one rig on a, on a, on a short sort of up and over Basically, it's just a sliding, sliding rig, so that the trace is below the, below the uh, weight in the tide, and then the other two are pulley panels, uh, one o and a, and a either a, a dongle, five o dongle, a circle hook or a, or two j hooks, uh, three o. Today's catching cook is um, this stuff. Got my uh, gas burner, single burner with me great I can uh, make I use those sachets of hot chocolate from any good supermarket boil up a cup of water and uh, chuck it in so that's my hot drinks so I don't bring a flask um, and just hot water in the old pot noodle equivalent or posh pot noodle uh, no catch and cook for me today well it's about half an hour after top of the tide been pretty quiet, the odd occasional little tap. Had that, uh, had a slack line bite, but I'm not sure whether the weight just tripped out because uh, there was uh, there was nothing there. Anyway, still persisting with the uh, same tactics. Let's bang this one out and uh, see what it brings.
casting out a fair way up tide so that uh, we don't end up down in uh, Western Supermare. So it was last year, probably 10 months ago. Uh, can't remember, it was February or so. And uh, if you watched that video, which is on my channel, there's the great big tree trunk uh, <clears throat> there that hasn't moved so obviously it hasn't been a tide big enough to to lift that one off so far this year it's a great big lump of woods about 50 60 feet long a good uh, couple of feet in diameter so it shows you the power of the the channel fair bit of weight there that's uh, just floated down you wouldn't want to be in a little boat if that uh, came down at a rate of knots at you typical bait I'm using on a 1-0 pulley panel. I got four blow lug uh, tipped off with a bit of squid. I say with two 1-0 uh, pulley uh, Varivas hooks there on the uh, forming the pulley panel on a on a four foot uh, 30 pound amnesia hook length. Let's get it out there. Might have a little fish on here. And I mean little. That monster. <sighs> Another sp specimen white in from the Bristol Channel. Let's put him back. He doesn't deserve to be out of the water too long. Anyway, third fish. 
let's keep going. Got a good bite on the right hand rod. Bagging up now, another monster. Two fish and two casts. It's going mental here. Yeah. White in are obviously very, very small. Still, it's a fish. Let's, uh, we've got another couple of hours fishing yet. Let's see what else we can pull out. Well, that big slack line bite I had, I just left it. I'm not sure if there's a fish on. No, don't think so. Felt very heavy at the start. Oh, I don't know, might be something there. Oh, that's better. Look at that. Oh, lovely white in. That's even bigger than the ones we were catching at uh, at Chesil last week. He's a bit more than half a pound. I'm gonna just see if I can put him back actually. Yeah, he went away. Right as rain. Well, that was a cracking, he gave a slack line bite. And then just, must have just sat on the bait and uh, Ah, well, that's three fish and three casts. Just positively can't keep up. <laughs> well, four fish and four casts. Here's another stonking white in. Well, for me anyway. In the Bristol Channel. He was on a, a massive bluey squid and rag on the dongle, took a 5.0 dongle. He's very lively, not deep hooked. I'm gonna put him back in. That's five white, you know, four fish and four casts, amazing. Whatever you do, don't feed the seagulls down here. They are absolute pain. Just had one in the, uh, in the line. Uh, and they are, uh, they must be really hungry because they're actually always begging for food here. <laughs> Let's see what a bit of squid does. Oh, one came in from the side. I've actually got good bites on two rods. Left hand rod is going. And the middle rod is going. Let's uh, I think we'll take the one on the left hand side.
Missed it. Right. Hopefully you can see that on the middle rod. Might be able to hear the ratchet clicking. Even on a, a smallish tide like today, nine and a half meters uh, high tide, there is a strong tidal pull. Typically like the, <clears throat> what's it? It's almost two hours after high tide. Um, really strong pull. And I've got 16 pound line on just to try and combat some of this uh, sort of tidal pull as well. So it's, uh, something to be mindful of here obviously on the uh, on the ebb um, it can pull hard even on a even on a, a modest tide and I've got sort of bungee cords I couldn't find any rocks to secure my, my rest so I've got some bungee cords here that are basically just clipped into uh, cracks and crevices to try and hold the uh, hold the rod rest in uh, in place good um well, we had a busy hour, so we had four fish, successive casts, two nice whiting. Um, so four, well, five whiting and a conger, but four fish um, on the ebb. So uh, the ebb certainly out, outfished, the, uh, outfished the flood. It's quarter to three. I'm going to give it uh, probably another, another hour, hour and a half. You can see the tide is receding. Um, and a rock ledge appears down here, but I don't really want to get down onto it in the dark because it's quite uh, quite slippery, steep, being on my own. And my birds, yeah, yeah, very noisy birds, aren't you? They're still here, keeping me company. Well, last cast are out. It's gone very quiet for the last hour and a half. I had those uh, four white in between the sort of one and two o'clock couple of good white in uh, amongst those t four fish and obviously this morning uh, on the uh, flood I had a small conger and a, and a uh, yeah and a small white in so I had five white in in total and a tiny conger so it's been a productive uh, session in terms of fish but not necessarily in terms of quality a couple of nice white in and I uh, obviously missed although you didn't see the bite I missed that very good fish first cast that took the rod uh, off the stand anyway another day so uh, yes it's uh, coming up for three hours after after high there's quite a bit of rock now appearing and weed appearing in front of me so uh, if i need to carry on fishing i'd have to go down because obviously i can't uh, get up and over the uh, over the ledge so thanks for watching hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this video um, it's a funny old venue here. I've never really caught much here in terms of quality of fish, uh, but generally do sort of catch something, but it's generally smallish. And uh, probably gonna try and choose a suitable tide and maybe try and give a section along here a go in, 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 in darkness. But that would be sort of fishing up and fishing down, maybe two hours up, two hours down, um, and not fishing on the, uh, the, lower, the lower rocky ledges. Well, thanks again for everybody who's been watching. As I say, past a thousand subscribers, so thank you for that bit of a milestone. Really appreciate those uh, those people who watch and uh, hope you enjoy it. And if you're out fishing this week, take care, tight lines, and hopefully I'll be able to do uh, at least one more uh, video before Christmas. Uh, we'll see how uh, the weather looks next week, and uh, we'll uh, see where uh, what the tides are like and where we'll go. Anyway, take care. All the best, everyone. Bye now. Bye. And my birds. Yeah, yeah, very noisy birds, aren't you?